Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hi, my name is Keegan. I'm 16 years old and I'm a clothing, shoes, and accessories reseller on Poshmark and on eBay. So I hit the best garage sale of my life. Um, so I was, I was like sleeping. It was a Saturday or no, it was Friday. Um, and I had just come back from like a baseball game and I was tired that night. So I slept in, but my mom went to a garage sale and my sister comes in my room, turns on my light, and then she goes, Keegan, mom's at a garage sale, and there's Tory Burch fry. And I just, like, got out of bed so fast, she didn't even have to finish. And with I was out of the house within five minutes. So if uh, they need to wake me up, I guess, I guess they know how to now. But uh, it was amazing. Uh, I spent, the first day I spent $650 and I got over 50 things. So my average cost of goods was higher than it usually is, but all, but uh, I was able to find all these things in like a short amount of time. Everything is in excellent condition. Uh, there's a few things that I'll point out, but uh, so yeah, I was super excited and I made a connection with the lady, Heidi. She might be watching this, but uh, maybe not, but she had, so she even uh, admittedly, she admits that she's kind of a shopaholic, but she's not like a shopaholic that just buys like random, like Walmart brands or whatever. She like actually buys like really nice stuff and like she wears it a few times and then she's ready to like get rid of it. So that is where I came in. And so basically I was going through the shoes and I, her mom uh, was there and then she was like, oh, she goes, oh, you look like you have a good eye for fashion. And my mom's like, well, actually, he's a reseller. And they were like, and she was like, oh, like, okay, and stuff. And then when they told the actual lady that her stuff, Heidi stuff, she was like, that is so great and stuff. And then, yeah, she, Heidi is super sweet. And yeah, and then she already had texted me about some other things on the next day that I came and got. And then she's going through her fall stuff later on the fall and she's gonna go through it as well but in her garage sale she had over probably if maybe over 150 pairs of shoes that she was just getting rid of and if not more than that like she had more shoes like out that i've probably have here like for sale um like of all time so i was like she, it was just so great. And I got, I think, 25 pairs of shoes. I'll let you know. She wasn't, like, giving stuff away either. It's not like she had Tory Burch's for, like, $3. I paid I paid up for a lot of stuff. But a lot of the stuff was I got some really great deals on. And uh, I'll just let you know I kind of, if I remember the prices of everything and try to walk you through that. But, like, I also missed quite a bit of stuff because, like, everywhere I turned my back, like, there was something new. Like, at the end, uh of everything this lady comes up and then she has a new with tag patagonia t-shirt that she bought for three dollars and i'm like you're kidding because i missed that and then but when i went back on the saturday i had missed a few lululemon pieces and i missed like a madewell shirt which i didn't get a madewell shirt but like uh yeah i just missed like a lot of stuff and it just goes to show you that even though resellers might have been through a store or a place they don't get everything and i did not catch everything and we all make mistakes and but okay i went to a few garage sales and stuff first so i'm going to show that the stuff from there just because i want to haul them so i spent 14 dollars at this garage sale and i got they had this marked at five dollars and this was a size small oh small free people kind of like dress very boho kind of short and it has oh it has like little tassels so very boho so size small on that probably like 25 for that um next was this other free people also five dollars this one i'll probably list around like 50. so this is the slip under it my sisters are like maybe i should wear just the slip and I was like but my camera's my camera lens I'm used to being over there but it's over here this time so free people size this is an extra small I'm sorry but this is just like the slip under it has like raw hem and it's brown mini so I guess you could wear it as a dress but like kind of short all right and then this is the, the actual thing so it's like 
Due to the delicate nature of this fabric, please handle with care when wearing jewelry and accessories. Enjoy. So this is like a little dress, and this one is new with tag, and it retail for $128, but it had like a sale tag on it, so I just tore that off. And so I'll probably list this for $50. I like the style of this. And the last thing I have is garage sale. So this lady had a ton of Donald Pliner. Um, like this lady from the Free People. So, uh, but like hers were like older styles and uh, she, a lot of them were uh, pretty expensive. I don't really like to pay a whole lot for Donald Pliner, but I did find these Layer T Spring Step. So I don't always pick up Spring Step, but I like to pick up the Layer T Spring Step. And these were $4 and they have like this laser cut detail, like a pea toe, like little uh, heel, like booty type thing. So these are in excellent shape, size 37. So I was happy about that. I paid $14 for those. Then like at the next sale where I missed like the new tag Patagonia, I went to a different sale and I found this Patagonia vest, a size small, $5. Um, but it had, it's kind of like dingy. It has like some like spots on it and like the fluff is kind of gone a little bit, but I got, so I paid $5 for this and then they use J. Jill kick flare jeans. So I don't always get J. Jill, but I like kick flare things if I've said that a million times in my past hauls, but I love the yellow color on this and they're like a kick flare bra hem uh, size 12. And yeah, so these were $2, this was five, but I asked if she'd take five for both and she said yes. So probably expecting 25 to 30 for the J. Jill and probably the same amount for the Patagonia. Okay, next I went to like a church rummage sale and their prices were very high for a lot of things, but they had like an hour left and I asked if they were doing a bag sale because they had a ton of stuff left and it really was not that big of a, like a church. So I the, their prices were just high. They were like, like base prices, their pants were like $7 and I was like, for a church girl, like, okay. So these are just like this studded clog these are by Ugg. They were only asking $5 for these, which I would have paid probably like 10 because clogs just do really well for me. These are Ugg. These are size 7, and they have like a shearling liner on the inside. Really great sh shape. So everything was half off. So I paid $2.50 for these. They have light wear, but probably will list these about $50 to $60. All right, next were these. I paid, these were marked at 10 but... They were $5 again. So these are, um, oh, I have to be very careful with these because, so these, oh no, did some of the fur, like, fly off? Okay, anyways, so these are just coach little wedge boots. This is like a puffer material and they do have some marks on them, but this is a genuine rabbit fur and it keeps coming off so I have to be very careful with it like it came off there and it came off like there like so when I say I've never seen comps so mixed on an item before like I actually mean it so I saw some comps for 15 for these exact boots and the some for $250 so I'll just pop up like some comps these are size 7 made in Italy I'm just gonna put these over here because I don't want like the fur to fly off. And then the last thing was I paid ten dollars for this. This is an authentic coach bag. They had it priced at twenty dollars, and yeah, I saw one sold for this bag, so I couldn't read the creed. So that I even had this stuff, so I couldn't read this creed. It was hard to read. So like that number, like you, it's hard to read in person. Like, I don't know. But when I looked it up, like, I used Google Lens, and I saw one cop on Poshmark for $150, and it had some spots at the bottom, and mine's in pretty great shape. The only wear to it, really, is there's, like, I mean, a few marks throughout, but the handles are, have some, light like, wear. So, probably gonna list it at $150, and I only paid $10, so... I don't, I have a, a lot of trouble finding handbags in my area because they're usually marked up, so, yeah. Alright, now we're on to the part we've all been waiting for, is the garage sale. So this is all from one garage sale, Heidi's garage sale, 
and yeah so the first day spent six hundred and fifty dollars i'll just show everything from the first day so this i'll start with accessories so this is a i don't usually get belts this is a lauren ralph lauren i don't usually get this brand brand either this is a genuine leather like i can't tell if this is black or brown i think it's brown but like i'm not sure if it's just like a lighter black because of this black embroidery but has like kind of like eyelet embroidery cut out details throughout and um lauren ralph lauren genuine leather what's the size i don't know it doesn't have the size on it but probably like a she's like a size 30 in jeans so there was that and then i got this she gave me this for two dollars which i thought was a good deal this is a coach I'm not sure if this is like a factory one or not. It's just like this brown like wallet. So I'll probably get like 15 for this, but coach. I like the style of it. It's like a patent leather, great shape. All right, this, I don't always get this brand, but she was only asking me $8 for this. So this is like a studded brown like bag and it is by so it's um michael michael kors so which is cheaper than michael kors just so it does have some like discoloration at the end but uh and this leather kind of feels a little bit cheap but what i appreciated was she knew like the value of coach michael kors kate spade weren't like all that great anymore so uh, while well, she did have them, like, marked up a little bit, she didn't have them, like, how my thrift stores would price them, which is extremely high, so I appreciated that, and, like, we kind of talked about that and stuff, and I was, like, Coach is just, like, well, some things, she, she knew that they were, like, hit or miss brands, and so I was appreciative of that, so that is everything I got for the accessories, I think, and then she told me that, like, she had kate spade bags for like ten dollars but like i people got those first and i was like well you did not have to tell me that but it's i was just kind of joking but all right so next thing are these i don't usually get this brand either but these are like a uh cow girl boot with a stacked wooden heel and so pretty good condition they have some like wear here i can probably just swipe it off with a baby wipe but they are um like a leather sole they're size seven and a half, which all of her stuff is like a seven and a half to eight. Some were size seven, but these are Dolce Vita, if you can see inside there. And this is the expensive line because it does, it just spells out Dolce Vita. It doesn't have like a DV or anything. So I got these for $5. So I'll probably list them at like 45 All right, next is, so these were $5 as well. And I thought these were a great deal. So I don't always get this brand either, but... They uh, are Sam Edelman, which she had some Sam Edelman ballet flats and stuff there for $5, and I did not get those, but I did decide to get these because these look like a new style, and I believe they are like a genuine leather, yeah, leather upper size 8, and you can kind of see Sam Edelman on the inside. Maybe, kind of, but... Yeah, so size eight on these. I'll probably list these. I think actually comps look about like I'll probably list these at like sixty or sixty five. Um, I'm gonna so probably not all those boots are gonna be listed because I'm trying to prioritize my summer stuff because it's almost the end of June, so I have to kind of hurry up and list all the summer stuff so they have a chance of selling. But then I can eventually list the winter boots like these coach. So these are like a kind of like a mid mid calf like riding boot i guess and they have a little bit of wear but they're in really excellent condition uh so these are a size seven and a half and they're, they're called the virginia and so she gave me these for ten dollars which i thought was pretty fair i'll probably list these at like again 65 maybe 75 i'm not 100 percent sure on those uh, I didn't really look up comps and a whole lot of things. There are some things I did double check, but yeah. So my sister might keep these. I've never picked up this brand before. 
and it's not a brand I like really even consider, but I love the style of these. So these are just like a little like these are like a little boot, kind of like this. It's just like a fabric, man-made material. These have a zipper, but these are size seven and a half, and they are Franco Saro. But the condition on these, I don't think she ever wore these ones because, and I got them for five dollars. So like, probably list these if my sister doesn't keep them. Probably list those at like, I don't know, thirty five. Uh, okay. So these, I think I got for five, but I'm not 100% sure. These are Michael Michael cores. I might have, I don't think I would have paid more than five, so I'm going to say I got five for these. So these, I like the studded. I don't get this brand a whole lot either. And she did have some like other Michael Michael cores, but it was just like a studded loafer, pretty good condition, size seven and a half. And probably let's use that again at like 35. We'll see. But she likes things with studs. A lot and I did I, I like to sell things with studs too so I got a lot of it. I never heard of this brand before but I looked it up. It was comps were a little bit inconsistent but I'll probably list these at like 50 or 60. These are wee jeans or whatever. Kind of like a remind me of like an old lady shoe but she said the same thing but so they have these pennies and the thing and they have like a little bit of wear but like a blue patent leather and they have like a leather sole. Uh, so yeah, so these are size seven and a half. So yeah, so we'll see how these do. Um, I'm not sure, I'm not expecting like a quick flip, but all right, I, okay, guess what brand these are. I would have never guessed. So these are like a snakeskin booty with like a gum sole, I think it's called, but like gum soles get dirty super easily. And like these are in great shape and they have like this little tassel. So I think I paid 10 for these, but uh, something I did not notice was like the zipper here. Yeah, I accidentally cut one of like the things, but it's fine. So if you've guessed yet, these are actually, oh, oh can you probably can't see that. Well, I'll just tell you, I think, unless you can see. Yeah, so these are Kate Spade, which I would have never guessed. I was so surprised when I like checked the brand. I, and they are, um, I'm not sure if they're like a leather up or not, but they're size seven and a half. So yeah, I'll probably, the comps, I looked up comps on these just because she wanted $10 for them. And they were a little bit, there wasn't many, but like, I'll probably list these at like 50 or 60, but we'll see how they do. All right, so these I got for $5. She also knew the value of Uggs pretty well. She go like Uggs aren't like like the hottest brand anymore, but uh, especially this style. This is just some driving, uh, not driving, but just some loafers. They have light wear. So five dollars for these are size seven and a half. They're kind of like a black color, but pretty good condition. All right, same thing goes with these. These are like sparkly Uggs and like some light wear so um size seven and a half again five dollars okay these are so at the end i was trying to just get my total to 650 because i was like at like six like 35 or whatever and she was asking ten dollars for each of the donald pliner shoes which i don't really pick up donald pliner but i so this uh, Heidi's stuff, this garage lady, was different from the free people, other free people lady and the layer tease lady because her Donald Pliner styles were actually current, whereas the other ladies weren't. So these are a pretty current style and they have these like, kind of like rhinestone uh, details, leather sole. So Donald Pliner is actually really great quality, but uh, it just doesn't sell the best. So these are Connie, but so, Five dollars for these. We'll probably list those at like thirty. Uh, okay. So these are another. These are a pair of studded little espadrille shoes. So these are uh, Mark Fisher, but they have like some like studs on them. So the issue with these is I don't think there's a size anywhere, but I'm guessing they're size seven and a half because most of her other stuff is that. I have to see what other what size she's a Mark Fisher and she said that they're probably seven and a half so 
Okay, these are a pair of... Okay, the, that's the brand on these two. So these are like a leather... Like, so, super boho shoe. And they're by Coach, if you can see that. These are size 8. So these are Coach. Which I would have never guessed Coach either. But super cute. I, I'm i not sure what the comps on these are. I think I paid 8 for these, but... Um, like, probably like, I don't know, probably list these at like 50. I have to get those listed. But I feel like these could work on the fall, though. I like the fall colors, I guess. Alright, I got these for 5, which was like a steal. These are just little flats by Fry. And they're like a point toe, which I always prefer over the round toe. And these are Fry. This is their little logo. And these, I think, are the Carson, I want to say, but I'm not 100% sure. So, I like these. Probably list these at, like, 50. Okay, these, I thought the comps were going to be better when I picked them up. When I found them, I was like, oh my gosh, like, what a great find for $5. So, these are just, like, some boots. And she said she wore these one time, but they have a little bit of wear. And so, these are Kelsey Dagger, which I've never found before. You can see on the inside. Kelsey Dagger. So, I thought I was gonna list them like over like a hundred, but like I'll probably list them on, like sixty five and get like fifty. They're not the brand isn't as good as I thought it was, but that's okay. I think I paid. I don't think I would have paid over eight for these, but maybe I did. These are also Kate Spade. These are just like glitter flats. Probably like list these at like thirty. They have some light wear, but not bad. These are size seven and a half. The Kelsey daggers are size eight. All right, so these are another pair of Kate Spade, and these have like a like a little like flower thing, and they have like a crisscross in the back. So size seven on these. I think I paid eight for these ones and five for the other, maybe. But all right, so. Okay, guess the brand on these. They're just like a boot. Oh, oops. Like, basically never worn. Size 38. And I could kind of tell what these were for $5. I would always, I, in this condition, I will always grab a Spring Step by Artiste. So these were $5 again. They're the Santana boot and size 38. Comps on these look pretty good. I'll probably list these at like 60 to 75 I'm hoping for maybe like that 60 mark or 50. Uh, so yeah, they have like just like a multicolor stitching throughout and leather upper. So I wouldn't necessarily pay a whole lot for this brand, but I mean, this condition's great. Oh my gosh, I'm like running out of room to put these plates things. Okay, so these are a pair of like heeled sandals. And these are size seven and a half. These are Mark Fisher with like studs. So these are leather. I don't always get Mark Fisher either, but I mean, can't go wrong. Peep toe. Uh, those are five, I believe. And then these are also five. These are like, is this like a lettuce thing? These are like gold Mark Fisher like slides, heeled slides, size seven. So like these are like worn like once, like so such great shape. Okay, and last thing, well actually, so these were my, probably one of my favorite pairs. So these are studded boots by Fry. And so I got to make the price on these because she just had them yeah, I can't remember. I don't think she really even had a... She didn't have anything priced because that would have just taken too long. So she's kind of throwing. And then she goes, well, you tell me you think is a fair price. And I said 15 Because I thought I would list these at like 150 which I think I still am. But the issue with the comp for like 80 And I was kind of disappointed in that because I paid 15 Which I still would have paid. But like I thought they would be better. Because this is such a classic fry style with like the studs. So I'm going to list them. I'm going to hope for over 100 anyway. And we'll just see how they do. They're size seven and a half. So fifteen dollars for these is a great that's a great deal. So that's all the shoes or all the shoes from like those type of brands. And then here's all her Tories. 
so I'll try to show you what I got like the first day. So these are probably one of my favorite Tories. These are these are like a rare style and the, the color is so let's see that one seventy five and I paid fifteen. These are Tory um birch and they are size seven and a half. So uh they have the logo at the bottom. So yeah. Not bad. These already have a watch on eBay. I have all the Tories listed because I those were I paid those were the things I paid for the most. So I wanna like list those faster to recoup my money, especially since I paid a lot. So these are a pair of oh, these already sold for on eBay for $110 plus like shipping. So these are a little nautical Tory Birch little sandals. So these are like literally excellent condition. So these are size seven and a half and they have like this little like nautical Tory. These are so, these are one of my favorites as well. Love those. All right, I paid 15 for these. I probably should have asked for like 10 or something. These are also Tory. Um, and these are just like flats, which don't do as well as like the sandals. Uh, these have like a logo at the bottom. And yeah, so they have a little bit more, a little bit of wear. I list these at like 65, I believe, but I like this like open laser, like woven detail. All right, so these are gold Tory. I can't remember what list these. I want to say like 125. So these are size seven and a half and logos. It's Tory Birch, Tory Birch. And they have like a logo and laser cut right there. So. All right, these ones I'm a little bit, uh, I think I got these ones that day. These are a Tory Burch again. I list these at like 150 or 145 maybe. I don't know. I can't really remember, but so excellent condition. But these have like the big logo, which does really well as well. Okay, so these, okay. Well, these two I got the second day. She texted me and she goes, Hey, I actually went through my closet and I have more Tories. So these are, these ones are going to sell next. So these ones are authentic because of the Tory Birch right there. But um, these are the Everly sandal. And I list these for 175 And I already got like so many offers on these. Probably for, like eight from different people. I got an offer within like an hour. And they already have like, I want to say like 20 likes or something. Uh, so, and I've got them on offers on both platforms, eBay and Poshmark. I bet they're gonna sell on Poshmark. Uh, the, these ones sold on eBay, but. So these are size seven and a half, and I list these for 175. They keep getting offers for like, I've gotten some for as high as 125, but I want like, like 135 for these. I think I paid 20 for these ones actually, but. All right, and these ones, so I think they're real because I don't think she told me like, so the first day there was another pair of Tories. They're like a black, they looked like this, but like they didn't have like the post, the toe post and they looked like this. But the problem was there wasn't any logo on the bottom. So I know a lot of them, they're, they're supposed to have a logo at the bottom, I think. I'm not like a hundred percent sure, but when I went back the second day, they were gone. So somebody got them for like $15. So, but like if I'm paying up, I want to be like completely sure that they're authentic. And I, this lady wouldn't buy fakes, and then she uh, she goes, oh, there's, like, one more pair of Tories on the first day. And I go, yeah, I'm not sure if I can't, like, authenticate them because they don't have a logo at the bottom. And if you know me, I'm awful at authenticating things. So I sh if they have, like, $5, okay, I'll just grab them, but they were 15 So these don't have logos at the bottom. I got these the second day. But they're leather, and there's, like, the little Tory logo. And these, so... I got them for 15 and like when I told her that the other ones, I wasn't sure she was very surprised. And I don't think like she, I think she, I don't think she knew that Tory Burch was fake. She was thought like Louis Vuitton stuff, which she, the city also had real like Louis bags and stuff. So, but she's not selling those. She's going to pass those down to like family members, but she said she would adopt me. So like maybe I'll get a Louis bag from her one day, but so these don't have logos at the bottoms, so let me know what you think. Oh, let's use that 135, and they're leather up, upper. Can't remember the style name of these, but, like, 
they have a few likes or something and nobody said anything they have a little bit of heel footprints on them but yeah so maybe i should have grabbed those other black ones but all this lady stuff is like real i was hoping she had like tory birch bags but she probably does but she probably like forgot about them or something but um yeah so those are just all the shoes i'm just like I need to take a break because I have like we're already thirty minutes in and like we we have we have a long way to go. Uh, should I just split this up into two parts? I think so. But so if okay, I'm gonna split this up in two parts. This is just the shoes. So if and like the other stuff. So if you liked today's video, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment down below and let me know your favorite thing. I would say my favorite thing here was either those studded fry boots or I would say these either one of these Tories, maybe even these, but if you like today's video, leave a like, comment down below, uh, so excited for the other part, Heidi, if you're watching this, thank you so much for letting me buy these off of you for such great prices, I'm very excited for the fall when I can buy the other things, because she has some Freebird boots, and she has some Patagonia jackets and stuff, so very excited for those so come back for part two where i show you all the clothing i got because there's some pretty pretty good things in there so